This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. We're finishing up on our linear programming problem now. In our last video, we saw that our maximum value was 510 and our minimum value was 110. So our maximum came from this area right here, this point, and the point was 100 comma 0. That's our maximum point. Uh, maybe I should put that in uh, red. Okay, and then of course we have our minimum point, and the minimum point would be the 20, 0, and that's right here. Okay, so we have these two critical points, the maximum red and the minimum blue. Okay, so maybe I should put little dots there. I could also code it so that we could see it both ways. All right, well, what does this mean for Maria's Muffin Shop? All right, well, it turns out that if we were trying to maximize her profits, and that's usually what these problems are all about, we would be drawn to this uh, for our conclusion. And our solution to the problem would be, uh, remember that the 100 stands for X, X stands for the brand muffins, 0 stands for Y, Y is the raisin muffins. So according to this, it says that Maria has to sell 100 brand muffins and zero raisin muffins. So it looks like her business, if she's going to mathematically maximize profit, would be to solely sell bran muffins. And that's what she would do to maximize her profit. And it looks like she has a close uh, maximum profit. I mean, this isn't the max, but this point over here was very close in value. It's only about 25 off from our maximum. Um, you know, if this is a real situation, you know, you would field test this, you would determine if eliminating the raisin muffins would affect your business, and you would do, you know, you would, you would really do a lot of uh, trials and error before you convert your whole business. But mathematically, on the whole, as it stands right now with the parameters we're looking at, clearly it is 100 zero or 100 brand muffins zero raisin muffins would be to maximize her profit. And it looks like her profit is 510. The way it stands, she would have to sell 100 brand muffins, zero raisin muffins for a maximum profit of 510. All right, so that's how we do this. Uh, and that's how we do these problems. And if you look over the six videos, that will explain each step all one at a time to uh, answer all questions that you possibly have. All right, now, um, normally I have students write out that answer and I have them write it out in a sentence. So that shows me that they understand what the 100 and the 0 stands for. It forces the issue. So I would have someone write out, Maria must sell 100 brand muffins and no raisin muffins to get a maximum profit of 510. All right, so go to mathguide.com, check out all our lessons, interactive quizzes, activities, and other videos. Take care.